Hello, welcome to Uncovering Symbiosis. Today's feature will be on the topic of how river ants recognize mealybugs. Just like how cattle are raised for meat and dairy products, it is widely documented that ants also cattle minibugs in a herd. From this part of the world, river ants, Ecophila smeridina, are eusocial insects that build nests made from leaves. The nest is woven using the silk produced from their larvae. However, these ants are an aggressive species. They inflict a powerful bite and secrete forming acid from their abdomen. Weaver ants can be found living in association with minibugs. These minibugs, family Pseudococcidae, produce a woolly wax layer and feed on plant sap. The minibugs excrete a sweet honeydew droplet to feed weaver ants. In this mutualistic association, the weaver ant protects the honeydew producing minibug. Ants might even stroke the abdomen of the minibugs, as if milking a cow. Now, how does the weaver ant recognize the minibug as a partner? By its nature, the weaver ant is a very aggressive species. It will attack almost anything, even the paintbrush. But let's see what happens if we present the millibar to the ant. The ant avoids the millibar but attacks the paintbrush. Therefore, to avoid being eaten, the minibug must be able to identify itself to the ant as a partner. But how does the minibug communicate its identity? Let's find out for ourselves. Will the minibug's identity be conveyed through its wool? Oh no! Ant attacks the wool. This shows that the ant can't use the wool to recognize the minibar. What about presenting a minibar with its wool removed? Hmm. The weaver appears to have bitten the minibar. But wait! The ant is actually moving the minibar as if the ant was cuddling the minibar. Watch as the ant gently places down the minibar. So it seems that the identity is conveyed through the minibar's surface. But could the identity be produced from within the bar? Will the weaver bite a tissue filled with minibar essence? Well, the weaver sure bites on the essence soaked tissue. We now have evidence that weaver ants identify millibugs through the pheromones on their surface. This is not surprising given that pheromones are involved in many insect to insect interactions, which are especially known to be found in ant communication. Pheromones are also involved in other insect to ant mutualisms. There have been studies on ant and capitalism mutualism where pheromones are involved. For example, the Nicene larvae and pupae use pheromones to prevent ant aggression and to help coax ants into tending them. On millibars, there could be pheromones that signal their entity as cattle to viewer ants. This is important for minibugs to maintain their relationship. Not only do these pheromones prevent weavers from eating minibugs, the pheromones also help minibugs to gain protection from predatory ladybugs, parasites and other natural enemies. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Uncovering Symbiosis. Oh!
的。那 credit 的时候啊，刘克平在那喊啊，我被蚂蚁咬，被蚂蚁咬。认真的，厉害的。我的脚很痒。不要拍了，不要拍了，不要拍了。你看我这。这不是唱歌。<笑>